Hello everyone, this is Linda. Welcome back. Today I'm going to um, be showing you a little piece of ephemera or embellishment, however you want to say it. It's a uh, kind of a little hidden journaling card and uh, can also be a pocket, uh, um, just about anything you want it to be in your journal. I call it Linda's Garden because it has a lot of floral elements. Uh, but depending on the theme paper that you use and how you choose to embellish, then it can be anything. Let's uh, deconstruct this just a little bit so I can show you uh, how I made it. Let's take these elements out. This is the hidden journaling card. What this starts out as is a simple six by six piece of paper. This is double-sided cardstock. Uh, that's all you need is a six by six piece of paper. I like the double-sided because I like the weight of it. It's very sturdy and it's easy for me to work with too. I decide how I'm going to use it uh, because I'm going to turn over an inch on each side and depending on if I want something running down this side uh, so you'll have to decide what you want with a plain side I used the plain side pretty much and folded that over so it just gave me plain edges because I knew I was going to put some flower embellishments in here so I thought that would look better but depending on how you're going to embellish and what you're going to slide down in the slide area and so forth yeah, you'll have to pick out your paper and see how it will work when you turn it. To show you what I'm talking about, let's say on this one, I'm going to uh, use a decorative side to turn over instead of the plain side. So let's take the inch, and what I do is I just find me an inch on my ruler, and I crease it. Okay, then I turn it over and do the same thing. Find the inch on the other side and I crease it. <clears throat> this will give me my two fold overs and uh, just use your whatever tool you've got handy to make that crease strong. So this one you can see, unlike my original one, which was plain, this one is gonna have some floral elements on this side. So that's gonna uh, determine how you embellish the front, okay? Now, what I did at this point was I got a piece of clear uh, plastic, acetate, whatever uh, you have, and I cut it to fit on the inside. Now, <clears throat> uh, what I do want to do with this before I start is I want to just crease it a little and uh, give myself a little circular indention, kind of like you would get with a circle punch. If you watch me, you notice that I don't have a lot of gadgets and tools. I use what I have, I improvise, and I make it work. That helps a person who's starting out to realize that they don't have to spend a ton of money in all these gadgets they see other people using. Now, they're wonderful tools. Uh, I'm not saying they're not, and I have some of them in my uh, stock here, but when I'm showing things, I like to try to keep it as simple as I can so that if you don't have those tools, you still can make this object. So I put it to where that uh, the clear part is flush with the top, and then I took it to my machine and I 
sewed a wave stitch down. I didn't get exactly on the edge because I wanted to leave a pretty wide area in here for a slide and it needs to fit inside uh, the stitching area. So I came over a little bit and put it down here, okay? The fact that it's not sewed at the edge is fine because this stitch is still catching the uh, acetate and it is also going through to the back side, so which makes a channel for your card when you want to slip it in, okay? So once that is sewn down, then what I did to make a closure was I found another decorative piece of paper, just cut me a little contoured edge, fit it to the outside dimensions, and if you can see, I sewed that down too, okay? So, and left the edge open because I'm gonna tuck something in there. All right, but that finishes off the bottom and closes it off so that when you put your uh, slide in there, it will not go through. Now, my slide, you can see, is just a little bit wider than my opening, just an ooch, okay? Uh, it can, you can uh, size this the way you want to. It can be a little wider because there's room for it, uh, but you just want to make sure you can cover the inside of that uh, see-through area. And I just used uh, uh, the other part of this same cardstock, but that had the florals on it, okay? All I did was cut a piece that was the size that I wanted, leaving, uh, making sure that it would go all the way down and cover this area and have something sticking out on top that I could embellish with a little fabric and yarn, and that's what I did. The back side is plain, so I can journal on that. Now I can take <clears throat> this and I can just run it down in there, and you see, just leave enough out there at the top and it fits perfectly. Now, if you have something that's already decorated like I did, that's great. If you want to put decorations on there yourself, theme it, put writing, whatever you wanna do, uh, that's perfectly fine, you can do that. Now, to finish it off from here, uh, to make a little floral garden out of it, I make these little flowers out of just a little piece of uh, cardstock and a little cluster of fabric of all kinds. And I put these on there. So I'm gonna tuck that one in there. And I'm gonna tuck that one in there. And that makes the uh, embellishment that I call Linda's Garden. <clears throat> Isn't that pretty? I just love that. Now, if you don't wanna put the flowers in there, you can do something else. You do have a tuck area so you can utilize it. Also, the way you put it in the book will determine uh, if this becomes a pocket or not. If you wanna just glue the sides and the bottom, you can put something long down to the back side behind uh, your little uh, hidden card here. If you want to run it to the side or the edge, one way you can tuck something into the sides, all right? You could even use it <clears throat> as a um, belly band if you wanted to do the top and bottom and then slide something, a uh, bigger piece of something behind it in, on your paper, something like that. However you wanted to use it, however you affix it to your page is gonna determine uh, what kind of a pocket you use. If you just want to use it as a journaling card that just goes in your book, that's that's okay too. You can just do that. Uh, it just doesn't matter as long as you use it the way it fits the theme and the look of the book that you want it to go into. Now, you can see that off of a 12 by 12 sheet of double-sided paper, I could get two or three of these out of it because I just need a six by six to do the casing. And uh, if I'm not using that same sheet of paper for the insert, 
then actually I could get four of the casings in it and use a different kind of uh, uh, something for the insert here. And that would be perfectly fine. If you've got a little uh, fabric swatches, you can make these little flowers all day long. You've always got a little piece of uh, cardstock left over somewhere and uh, they just really set it off really cute. Uh, so just use your imagination. Uh, like I said, I, <clears throat> I inked a, around this, of course, um, and this one I, I used the uh, uh, red that I had and the, um, let's see, the uh, vintage photo around the, the edges. Uh, now what I did uh, on the inside edges because I didn't I didn't uh, ink this before I sewed it down so I thought well how am I going to ink that now so what I did was because there is a lip here I could just <clears throat> slide a piece of paper in there and then it was easy to take my little dabber and ink the edges like that and so that finished up that so there's always a way to get something done if it's not a mistake, it's just a opportunity to uh, adapt, uh, learn, uh, find a new way to do something, okay? All right, I just love it. I hope you love it. And if you make one, I hope you'll uh, tag me uh, on Facebook, uh, the uh, Facebook uh, group that Marsha, my collaboration partner, and I both admin is a Junk Journal Junction. We'd love to have you join us over there. And this is a part of the collaboration series that I'm doing with Marsha, where we're doing different projects and tips that we hope are have some type of originality to them or a twist that you haven't done before. Uh, something that's a little bit different. Um, you know, we're all making the same things. We're all making ephemera and embellishments, uh, but there's only so many ways you can make things, but then there's an infinite way you can twist, decorate, or put a little spin on it, or combine it with something else. So that's what we're trying to do, come up with some things that are interesting and a little different for you. So please um, subscribe to our YouTube, YouTube YouTube channels and um, we will both be doing these uh, videos through the end of the year and we hope that we'll give you tons of it, inspiration and ideas and that you'll run with it and make beautiful things for your books and please tag us because we'd love to come over and look at your creations also. All right till next time take care bye bye